but don't get used to it. Hi it's there. This entire water lily pond was installed by Hurricane oh Maria. Oh, you oh, really? Absolutely without our help. There's oh. a dam under this bridge that helps impound a little water here every now and then. This is here at the St. George Botanical Gardens. That's up. Generally in flows it, 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 only when a heavy rain happens, and almost never has more than a tree. Yeah. Yeah. He's big enough to eat. Yeah. I had one that got out of my house that got electrocuted on the power pole one day, oh. and I called the power guys, and they came over, and I said, I think our power's going to go out because we just fried the one up here. I said, but it's probably good enough to eat by now, and they said, only if you're for the weekend. <laughs> the, the Crucians did not want to have a thing to do with eating iguanas, but, uh, oh, no. but in Puerto Rico it's a delicacy. We eat this yeah, yeah. I've had it. But anyway, the story here was that, of course, Maria came through and took out the canopy. This was a very dense forest. Oh. And so the sun came in, she flooded the gut, and then water lilies came up on their own. Now, I knew they were in here, but only in very wet periods of time do you get a water lily or two coming up. Uh, and then after that, underwater plants came up that are native here. Uh, we then, of course, had loads of frogs, but then pretty soon fish started to show up. Crayfish showed up. Freshwater shrimp showed up. And they all happened without us lifting a finger. So is there any way you can keep I wish we could. So it's going to eventually go down? It's going to dry up, exactly. Right now, the water has stopped flowing over the dam. Uh, well, there's a tiny trickle. As long as there's a tiny trickle, that we're keeping, we're even, keeping up with it. But as soon as there's not a trickle, this is going to start to climb. Because 